the solar system. Hello and welcome to AWZ. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Let's look at the solar system together. The Sun and the asteroids that orbit it make up the gravitationally bound system known as the solar system. A massive interstellar molecular cloud gravitationally collapsed to make it 4.6 billion years ago. The Sun has 99.86% of the system's mass, with the planet Jupiter holding the majority of the remaining mass. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the four terrestrial planets in the inner solar system, and they are made mostly of rock and metal. The four enormous planets in the outer solar system dwarf the terrestrial planets in both size and mass. The next two, Uranus and Neptune, are ice giants, being primarily composed of volatile substances with relatively high melting points compared to hydrogen and helium, such as water, ammonia, and methane. Jupiter and Saturn, the two largest, are gas giants, being primarily composed of hydrogen and helium. All eight planets have approximately circular orbits that are located close to the ecliptic, the plane of Earth's orbit. How the solar system came to be the difficulties faced by astronomers in formulating ideas about the formation of the solar system have increased along with the amount of data on the planets moons comets and asteroids theories about the creation of the earth and the celestial objects were undoubtedly considerably less restricted by reality in ancient times Indeed, it wasn't until Isaac Newton's theories of motion and gravitation were published in 1687 that a scientific approach to the solar system's formation was made possible. Even after this discovery, it took several years for scientists to figure out how to use Newton's rules to account for the apparent motions of planets, moons, comets, and asteroids. Emanuel Swedenborg, a Swedish philosopher, offered a theory for the formation of the solar system in 1734. In his concept, a shell of material encircling the sun broke apart to generate the planets. Immanuel Kant, a German philosopher, expanded on this theory of the formation of the solar system in 1755. Several smaller dwarf planets and numerous tiny bodies from the solar system are in orbit around the sun. Many of the smaller worlds, including the six largest dwarf planets and the six major planets, are orbited by natural satellites, also known as moons after the moon. Mercury, the smallest planet on Earth, is larger but not more massive than two natural satellites, Jupiter's moon Ganymede and Saturn's moon Titan. Jupiter's moon Callisto is also quite enormous. A ring of ice, dust, and moonlets surrounds each of the large planets, as well as some of the smaller bodies. Between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter is the asteroid belt, which is home to space debris made of ice, rock, and metal. The Kuiper belt and dispersed disk, which are populations of objects primarily made of ice and rock, are located beyond Neptune's orbit. Detached objects are a subclass of minor planets found in the solar system's outermost regions. How many of these items there will be is a topic of great discussion. These objects can be classified as dwarf planets since some of them are massive enough to have rounded due to their own gravity. The Kuiper Belt objects Pluto, Orcus, Haumea, Quaror, and Migmig, the scattered disk objects Gonggong and Eris, and Sedna are all considered to be dwarf planets by astronomers. Comets, centaurs, and interplanetary dust storms are just a few of the different small body populations that are free to move about the solar system. The aliosphere is a bubble-like region of interplanetary medium in the interstellar medium created by the solar wind, a stream of charged particles streaming outward from the sun. The aliopause, which stretches out to the edge of the dispersed disk, is the region where the solar wind's pressure is equal to the interstellar medium's opposing pressure. It's possible that the Oort cloud, which is supposed to be the origin of long-period comets, is also out there, about a thousand times farther out than the Aliosphere. The Milky Way galaxy's Orion arm, which houses the majority of the stars that can be seen in the night sky, is 26,000 light-years away from the solar system. 
The so-called local bubble contains the nearest stars, with Proxima Centauri being the closest at a distance of 4.2441 light years. With 99.8% of the solar system's mass in the Sun, it is clear that the Sun is the greatest object in it. The majority of the heat and light that support life on Earth and possibly elsewhere are emitted by it. The Sun is slightly off-center of each ellipse that planets travel in as they orbit the Sun. In order to better understand the Sun's makeup and predict space weather and its impact on Earth, NASA maintains a fleet of spacecraft investigating the Sun, such as the Parker Solar Probe. Information on the solar system. One in a billion. Eight planets, a star, and countless other smaller objects like comets, asteroids, and dwarf planets make up our solar system. Two, go to the Orion arm to meet me. At over 515,000 miles per hour, our solar system travels around the Milky Way galaxy's core, 828,000 kilometers per hour. One of the galaxy's four spiral arms is where we are. A long way round three. One circle of the galactic center of our solar system takes around 230 million years to complete. Four, spiral travel in space. The elliptical, spiral, and irregular galaxies are the three main types of galaxies. A spiral galaxy is the Milky Way. Five, safe temperatures. A region of space is our solar system. There is no vibe here. But it has a wide variety of atmospheres on many of the worlds, including Earth. 6. Lots of moons. More than 200 moons are orbiting the planets in our solar system, as well as several asteroids. 7. Ring of worlds. The four large planets all have rings, as does at least one asteroid. None are as amazing as Saturn's stunning rings. 8. Getting out of the cradle. More than 300 robotic spacecraft, including 24 American astronauts who travel to the moon, have visited locations outside of Earth's orbit. Life as we know it, 9. Only our solar system has been found to harbor life. We only currently have knowledge of life on Earth, but we're searching everywhere we can for more. 10. Outside Robots The only spacecraft to depart from the solar system are NASA's Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Pioneer 10, Pioneer 11, and New Horizons are three additional spacecraft that will eventually reach interstellar space. Our solar system's planets. Mercury. Only slightly bigger than the moon is Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system and the one nearest to the sun. The quickest planet, Mercury, completes one orbit of the sun in 88 days on Earth. Venus. Unlike other planets, Venus spins slowly in the opposite direction. It is the hottest planet in our solar system due to a thick atmosphere that traps heat in a runaway greenhouse effect. Earth Our home planet, Earth, is the only place we are currently aware of where there are living organisms. Additionally, it is the only planet in our solar system with surface water. Mars Mars is a cold, arid, dusty planet with a tenuous atmosphere. There is compelling evidence that Mars had a thicker atmosphere and was wetter and warmer billions of years ago. Jupiter 
Compared to the other planets in our solar system combined, Jupiter is more than twice as big. The great red spot on the enormous planet is a centuries-old storm that is larger than Earth. Saturn Saturn is distinctive in our solar system because of its brilliant, intricate system of ice rings. While the rings of the other large planets are impressive, none compare to those of Saturn. Uranus The seventh planet from the Sun, Uranus, rotates over 90 degrees away from the equator. Uranus appears to rotate on its side because of this peculiar tilt. Neptune the eighth and farthest giant planet from our sun, Neptune is chilly, dark, and buffeted by supersonic winds. It was the first planet to be discovered using calculations. This is all for now. Check out other videos on our channel. Enjoy!